Hello everybody, it's your girl Tamika with the Y. Y'all are gonna catch that little slogan too, so just go ahead on and add it into your repertoire. Hashtag Tamika with the Y. <laughs> anyway, um, so um early today I had made a post that said that I was going to address the purple elephant in the room. For those of you all that know what's going on, you understand exactly what the purple elephant in the room is. I'm not going to go into details for those that don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but this video is mainly for those who have been, um, who have been impacted um, through the life or the ministry of me and him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If X, uh, soon to be X. I don't really, I'm still struggling with how to say all that, but anyway, so, um, those of you all that are mutual friends with us probably have, um, seen a few things on Facebook and, and things like that. And this video is not to bash anybody. <laughs> I'm not here to bash him or anything like that. He's a great guy. Um, it just didn't work. Bottom line, it just didn't work. Um, we had a lot of issues that um, we were unable to resolve. And that's okay. I mean, life happens. You know, um, we were young when we um, got married, extremely young. You know, we're still trying to sort out who we were as, as individuals, you know. So not really knowing who you are as an individual going into a, a marriage or a serious relationship um without um I'm trying to be really careful how I say this um without really knowing what you want and resolving previous issues um it can be detrimental to a marriage to a relationship um to a company a business whatever um it can be detrimental to that so we went into a marriage very young you know um God bless us to be able to uh, be a blessing to a lot of people um, through our singing, you know, um, yeah. So uh, at this point, uh, we are separated. Um, we have actually been separate, and this is going to be a shocker, but we have actually been separated for about three years. Uh, yeah, three years. Uh, we tried to work it out. Numerous amount of times, um, just didn't work. Um, we just found ourselves on two total different paths. Um, he wanted one thing and I was reaching for something else. And, um, you know, we've always tried to support each other, um, throughout it, you know, over the past three years, um, we have definitely, um, try to support each other um we still go to church together see him every sunday he sees me every sunday our daughter um you know she's um very active in the ministry you know so this is not easy for him or i i can honestly say that um yeah so it's it's not easy and um oh um, yeah, so in saying that, um, we are in the process of, um, getting a divorce and, um, you know, it's, it's been hard on all of us, my family. Um, I don't know much about his family, but my family, because he's just, he's been a part of my family for 15 years. So, um, you know, so it's, it's been very difficult, but God is still good. Um. Uh, we have been able to still maintain a level of not friendship, but just a level of courtesy, courtesiness, maybe not really <laughs> for our daughter. Um, I'm not here to bash him. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm sorry. I'm just not here to bash him. Um, but just to kind of clarify a few things, um, he, yes, he has moved on that's not a problem. My, um, have I moved on? I am moving on. So, 
<laughs> that's probably the best way to say it. Um, and um, yeah, so, you know, it's it's definitely been very difficult um, in this transition, but we have found a way to deal with it um, the best way that we know how. That's probably um, what I can say. Um, we haven't always made the right decisions. I'm not perfect. He's not perfect. Um, even in going through our separation, you know, we tried our best to um, just kind of uphold a level of um, maturity, a level of respect for one another, uh, mainly a level of respect for the ministry because we go to church together. Um, so and it has not um, been an easy transition, but we have made it workable. Um, so. Um, am I hurt? Yeah. <laughs> um, am I bitter? Not anymore. Am I angry? No, I'm not angry anymore. Um, I've learned through this that life goes on and that God is the God of a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. He's the God of chances. Um, and in knowing that, I'm able to go forward. I'm able to move on. I'm able to live. Um, I told my best friend today, you know, I feel like I'm in a fight of my, I'm in the fight of my life, literally. Um, because when you are married to your best friend for, um, ah, try not to cry. Um, but when you've been married to your best friend for so long and, um, it just doesn't work. Um, it becomes one of the roughest things that you have to go through. Um, so it is what it is. Um, sometimes the sweetest hellos turn into the ugliest goodbyes and it's okay because life goes on. And so that's it. So I just want to encourage anyone who's going through the same situation. You know, one thing that I can tell you. Just make sure you find God in that situation. Make sure that um, you keep him at the forefront because although it hurts and although it's the hardest thing in the world, God is still faithful and he will help you to get through it. He has helped me. He has placed great people in my lives, my family, my best friend, um, my boo. <laughs> guess if I could say that, I don't know if I could really say that on Facebook just yet, but, uh, one, my, 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 my boo, my best friend. Um, so, you know, God is good and I love him and I'm more than happy to know that he loves me. And so thank you all for listening to this long extended emotional roller coaster of a video <laughs> but i love you guys so much again this is your girl tamika with a y as always you already know smooches and deuces i love you with the love of god and i love you with an everlasting love god bless bye bye